Hello and a very warm welcome to the channel. It's time for another sport reaction video. A little bit different this time. This is not going to be one of the American sports. So I've done NFL, I've done ice hockey, I've done basketball, haven't done baseball and I'd really like to. So if you know any good baseball videos, please pop them in the, just in like the comments and I'll try and find them. Um, but this is about football or I have to use the word soccer. So, so this is um, about the 2026 FIFA World Cup, which is being hosted primarily by the United States. Um, I think the first one since 1994 to be hosted in the US. I'm not totally sure about that date. Also by um, Canada and Mexico, but, but mainly by the US. Uh, so this is all the stadiums, FIFA World Cup 2026 from Sports Render. I'm really interested because I've done some reactions to American stadiums before, particularly I've done like college football stadiums. I think I did some summer coverage of some NFL stuff. Um, and I'm really interested if that's what they're going to be using. I mean, maybe not the college ones because I don't know how much they get used for other stuff, but I kind of assume they maybe use NFL ones. Like, but are they going to use like, do they have like soccer, proper like soccer kind of specialist stadiums? Or do are they have like baseball fields? I don't know. I mean, I know America's got a ton of massive stadiums, so I'm sure it won't be an issue. But it will be interesting. Um, so yeah, let's let's play the video. Let's go. The next FIFA World Cup is on the horizon as Canada, Mexico, and USA prepare to host the biggest. So, okay, so here's a question. Presumably, all three of them will get to qualify automatically, right? Um, because I'm thinking, like, how many hosts can you have <laughs> before, like, the hosts take up the entire qualification? Because usually you have one host, but they've been getting a bit more sort of generous recently. But I, I mean, to be fair, they're all pretty decent, or certainly respectable sides, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Ah, it's ball. A total of 16 stadiums have been chosen to host the games, the most since Korea and Japan Ooh. 2002, with some truly spectacular venues set to showcase the best in the beautiful game. I mean, America must be the best country in the world for stadiums. I mean, you guys have got some epic ones. Um, I mean, short aside, I know that this World Cup, or well, rather the next World Cup, for the first time they're having, I think, 48 teams. Um, which is quite a big increase in what they had the last time. So it'll be the biggest World Cup ever. Personally, I'm not sure if that's a good idea because I think you you could end up with quite a lot of kind of dead games between the what would have much interest. But I don't know. I I mean maybe like soccer's now so popular that people will watch anything. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'd be interested to see. The FIFA World Cup 26 All Stadiums. Toronto Stadium was purpose-built as Canada hosted the FIFA U-20 World Cup 2007 okay. and staged the final where Argentina emerged triumphant, with Sergio Aguero claiming the golden ball and golden boot. Yeah, stop winning everything, Argentina. Now, in its Not 40th fair. year of existence, BC Place Vancouver remains a jaw-dropping piece of architecture situated mm. on the banks of the False Creek... It looks like it's changed a lot, it's got like a roof now. Um, which I didn't see in the first picture, and it's got kind of stadia all round the outside. Inlet. The area, which has recently undergone renovations, is the home of MLS team Vancouver Whitecaps and the Canadian Football League's BC Lions, and has also occasionally hosted the Canada. Okay, so here's a question. Um, so forgive my ignorance, I generally don't know this stuff. So I know Canadians have their own like Canadian football, which is very like American football. But are they the same? They're not the same sport, are they? Like you couldn't have, um, you couldn't have like the New York Jets playing the whatever the Canadian teams are called. They're like slightly different sports, right? But quite similar, which, which would be quite similar to like rugby league and rugby union, which are sort of similar but are distinct sports. Um, let me know. The national team. A true coliseum of world Ooh. football and the first wow. to host a third FIFA World Cup, Estadio Azteca Mexico City, which welcomed the likes of Pele and Diego Maradona across two pulsating World Cup finals. So th this is a very iconic stadium. Um, like this, this, was, this, this is one that will be not, not be new to soccer fans. In 1970 and 1986 will once again take centre stage. The arena's day job is to host both Club America and Cruz Azul of Liga MX, as well as the Mexico national team, while Pumas, Atlante, Atletico Espanol and Necaxa have all previously played their football here. 
It's like half the Mexican league, isn't it? Built on raised ground and with a spherical Colosseum-like design, the Stadio... I like what... that. That's pretty cool. It, it almost looks like, like a hill fort or something. Or, um... Or like a trap, <laughs> like, like a trap for a giant to get your foot stuck in and fall over. Guadalajara is certainly one of the more eye-catching venues set to hold matches at the FIFA World Cup in 2026. Inaugurated in 2010, the stadium is home during the regular season to CD Guadalajara, who have enjoyed their fair share of success there. Hmm. Mexican side Monterrey now play that's their a nice football stadium. in this modern-day marvel, which is equipped with compact energy solutions and low voltage equipment. The ground was the first in the Americas to earn a silver certification from the leadership in energy and environmental design following its unveiling. Yeah, it looks really cool. It looks a bit like the new Tottenham Stadium. Um, I mean, maybe like a little bit smaller, I think, but yeah, well, very, like, yeah very similar. In 2015, Atlanta Stadium Ooh, was designed wow. with supporters in mind and delivers an award-winning fan experience. Standing at over 300 feet high, it features a one-of-a-kind retractable roof, first of its kind 360-degree halo video display, and has been lauded as the most sustainable stick. I mean, it's just next level. <laughs> like, there's no other way of putting it. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's like... I mean, there's, there's stadiums in Europe which are bigger than it, but I don't know if any of it can compete with it on a technical level. It just looks amazing. Stadium in the world. Boston Stadium, home to MLS side New England Revolution and NFL outfit New England Patriots, is currently undergoing a major renovation project ahead of the 2026 tournament. Okay. Once complete, the ground will boast the largest outdoor high-definition stadium video board in the country. Yes, that's, that's an interesting point. I mean, because America's got so many great stadiums, and I, I wouldn't just say it's about America. I think, like, I think, I think if England or, or Britain, depending on how you want to do it, would have enough stadiums, or like Germany, whatever. Um, it means you don't have to build the infrastructure because there's so many countries that build a ton of stadiums for the World Cup, and then they barely get used. Like, like Qatar, obviously, South Africa. Um, I mean, Saudi Arabia is sharing a World Cup after after the US, and I'm sure they'll build amazing stadiums, which will then have like capacity of um, six thousand or something on on a on a usual weekday. Um, so yeah, it's really cool that America just has so many stadiums that you can just be like, you you can always like pick up pick up your spare stadiums, um, and it can still host a world class tournament. Country, fifty thousand square feet of glass enclosed hospitality and function spaces. 360 degree connectivity between all levels of the concourses and more. Ooh, Dallas Stadium is a jaw-dropping example of stadium architecture, providing nice. a once-in-a-lifetime visitor experience for both sport and music events, while boasting several pieces of incredible artwork and 25,000 square feet of video displays inside. Since opening yeah. in 2009, the venue has it been the looks, home of five-time Super Bowl winners, the Dallas Cowboys, and has also hosted the CONCACAF Gold Cup and Mexico national team matches down the years. A host of the MLS All-Star Game, national team fixtures of both the USA and Mexico, as well as three games at the Copa America Centenario in 2016, Houston Stadium has plenty of football pedigree and will surely gather more ahead of 2026. Opened in 2002, the ground, which is also home to the famous Houston Rodeo, has a retractable roof. The, and the it, Houston what? Is that like a sport team? Or is it an actual rodeo? Because <laughs> if so, that's pretty cool. It's famed for its bullpen section, which houses the loudest section of NFL side Houston Texans home support. Ah. Kansas City Stadium is certified by Guinness World Records as the loudest outdoor sports venue in the world and has hosted a record five consecutive NFL Conference Championships. The arena, which is the home of the NFL Kansas City Chiefs, reached a record-breaking decibel level of 142 when the Chiefs took on the New England Patriots in 2014. Mm -hmm. Los Angeles Stadium is the newest venue chosen to host FIFA now, World Cup. Now that's a fascinating design, like a, like a, like a sail or something. 26, having opened in September 2020. It is situated just a 30 minute drive from Pasadena's famous Rose Bowl Stadium, which hosted the World Cup final of 1994. Uh -huh. Los Angeles Stadium has already hosted a number of concerts under its iconic and unique roof, with Taylor yeah, Swift, BTS unique. and Ed Sheeran among the artists to have graced the venue. 
Miami Ooh. Stadium serves as home to the Miami Dolphins. I, so I, I love how like stadiums, um, they all look so different. I mean, there's definitely quite a few stadiums in the UK which are quite clearly modelled on each, modeled on each other. But these ones, they look very unique. Like no, thus far, no two have looked the same. Also, I find it really interesting that they don't seem to be using college football stadiums because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I, I'm pretty sure because I watched a video on this, that the college football stadiums are some of the biggest in America and indeed a lot of the biggest stadiums in the world are college football stadiums. But I also know that they're a little bit older and perhaps like their facilities aren't quite as good, so maybe that's why they're not doing it. Um, but yes, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see if any college stadiums pop up. Formula One Miami Grand Prix, Miami Open Tennis Tournament, University of Miami, Orange Blossom Classic and Orange Bowl College Football Games, Jazz in the Gardens and other concerts and festivals. The venue features world-class entertainment and demonstrates its versatility in hosting a wide variety of events, including six Super Bowls, the 2010 NFL Pro Bowl, El Clasico Miami, major concerts and international soccer matches. While this stadium has been more used to hosting the superstars of the NFL down the years, the best that soccer has to offer will head to the ground come 2026 as a different sport takes centre stage. A multi-purpose stadium which opened in 2010, the ground currently hosts the NFL's New York Giants and New York Jets, as well as the XFL's New York Guardians, and was the venue for the final That's the of what? The, New York Guardians? the 2016 Copa America Centenario, when Chile defeated Lionel Messi's Argentina on penalties. Philadelphia Stadium opened with a block... Uh, again, like, it's, a, it's always completely different designs. Like, this, this one's almost like a sort of, like, I don't know, almost like a horseshoe. I know you've got, you, you kind of got bits missing on the side. But I, I, I like how they are all architecturally distinct. Just a friendly match between Manchester United against Barcelona in August 2003 with Ronaldinho setting up Patrick Clivert to score the arena's first goal. It would go on to house US national team games, the 2015 Gold Cup final and Manchester United again in the years since, as well as becoming the permanent residence of the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles and the temporary home. So okay, that's interesting. The, 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 um... The NFL's... Oh, no, wait, the NFL's for the deal. So, okay, so here, here's a question. Um, so, obviously, we talked at the beginning about like, the four, like, iconic American sports or, like, sports you... The, the big four, like, that you associate with America. Is soccer anywhere near to becoming the fifth? Like, do, do you think soccer... I, I know you guys have got, like, the MLS, your own league, which is I think is growing quite a bit. Do you think it's now fair to say there's five main sports in America and that soccer is one of them, or is that overkill? I, as an outsider who's kind of really interested in, in your culture, I'd be really interested to know. Please comment below on what you think. No, not the spinning MLS ball. MLS Team Philadelphia Union during the 2010 season. One of the newer stadiums tasked with hosting the tournament, San Francisco Bay Area Stadium is located in the city of Santa Clara, home to the NFL's San Francisco 49ers. Since its opening in 2014, the stadium was selected to host Super Bowl 50 in February 2016, where Coldplay headlined the halftime show with support from Beyonce. And yeah, Coldplay headlining a Super Bowl show. <laughs> No, no judgment, guys. No judgment. I'll, I'll keep my opinions to myself. Mars. The venue staged the first match of the Copa America Centenario in June 2016 as Colombia defeated USA and has also hosted WrestleMania and the 2015 NHL clash between the LA Kings and San Jose Sharks. So that, that's hockey, ice hockey, right? How does that work? Do you like... Um, how, how do you like to keep it cold enough? Are you just doing the winter or something? This stadium boasts a unique horseshoe shape with an open yeah. north end to give a stunning view of the Seattle skyline. Featuring twice in the Guinness World Records as the loudest outdoor stadium with the feats achieved in September and December 2013, the ground has become known as a fortress for the likes of MLS side Seattle Sounders and the NFL's Seattle Seahawks. Subscribe now. Wait, wait, which one was... Oh, I missed which one was the final. It was like it was in New Jersey, wasn't it? I can't remember what it was called. Um, but yeah, no, say that obviously they're all very impressive. Um, I like that they're all very distinct. Um, 
Also, I think it's pretty cool that we have you have a more sustainable World Cup. We're not having to build all the stadiums from scratch. I mean, let's face it. I mean, the, the stadium facilities in America are such where you could host the World Cup there every four years, and it wouldn't be a problem. Just just using existing facilities. You, I mean, you, they're not going to have to spend vast sums of money kind of creating these new wonders like they do in, um, like, obviously in Qatar. I presume they will in Saudi Arabia, to some extent South Africa and Brazil as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found it interesting, please do subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.